Now, congratulations if you managed to program this correctly. And if you did so, you should see the following. And this is a really amazing result. So we started with our discrete distribution, having to compute all those convolutions and multiplications value by value with all those steps. And now we also implemented this using our Kalman filter. And this gives us the solid lines. And we see the Kalman filter solution gives us exactly the same solution, only it is still better, because we don't have to compute very much. We only have to treat those mu and sigma values of the distributions. And in the end, we get a closed form description of our distributions. So we get a mathematically exact result. And so you see, this is clearly a huge advantage of the Kalman filter, that there is not very much to compute. And still, we get a mathematically exact solution in terms of a closed form description of our density. And congratulations if you made it that far. So this time we had a really, really amazing journey. So when we started, we had no clue how to represent the uncertainty in the position or the measurement of our robot. And so we started to assign probabilities. And we found out that the best way to do so would be distributions. So we said our robot is now not here anymore, but rather it is here, here or here, with a different probability. And then we next found out that using those distributions, we need not only to model the position, but we also want to know what happens if we are somewhere and we move. What happens to the distribution? And we found out the distribution gets more complicated. And what we saw was, for the movement, we need to convolve our distribution. Whereas for the measurement, we need to multiply. Now putting together those two steps, was called a base filter. And actually, since we implemented all this using discrete distributions, we already learned what a histogram filter is, namely the discrete version of this base filter. And then finally, we went from distributions, which are discrete, to densities, which are continuous. And here, for the special case of a normal distribution or Gaussian distribution, and now implementing the base filter using those densities, especially those normal distributions, has led us to the Kalman filter. So again, congratulations, you really learned a lot. So hope to see you in the next class.